We are side bunning today. <laughs> I feel like it's like sticking out too far. But anyway, uh, what's up everyone? Welcome on in. My name is Jessica if you're new here. Uh, today, we're gonna try a bunch of brand new drugstore makeup. I am so excited. This is actually an entire full face of makeup. I have enough products in each category to try. The only category I don't have is eyeliner. So that's no big deal. I'm excited all of these are new launches. I think there's maybe one that is just maybe new shades, but I haven't tried this, that, this product that you'll see. <laughs> what am I talking about? Starting off strong. Anyway, I haven't tried it in years. So cheers. So only thing on my face is SPF. I use the Kosas SPF. So, oh, and I do, I've been trying the new Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. My goodness, TM. <laughs> don't take that long name, guys, TM. Anyway, uh, I like this. I don't think it's anything like revolutionary, but I've also only tried it like four times. So I'm still figuring it out. We are gonna start with this new launch from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I have to say the packaging of this is, I mean, it's normal e.l.f. branding, but this, for whatever reason, really threw me back to when the e.l.f. brand had their $1 line and everything was like in white packaging and their $3 studio line and everything was in black packaging because this looks exactly like what they've carried for years, but this is a new product. So their putty primers, like in the pot, have been around for a while. People love them. I feel like they're just fine. That's just the kind of primer I, I just don't use. So that that's really more why I feel the way I feel. But this one's a liquid version. So I'm assuming it should be pore filling. Oh, so I would have guessed this wouldn't have been quite so, I don't know, like liquidy? It Oh, it does kind of fill out to be that kind of, not fully silicone feel, but I feel like sometimes when I think of pore filling primers, I always feel like they feel almost velvety. Do you know what I mean? This doesn't quite feel that way, but it still has that kind of filling quality that if you've ever tried a primer like this, you know exactly what I mean. So we're gonna concentrate this on the center of my face because that's really, I mean, when we're talking about pores, that's, I mean, you know, that's the spot. Sorry, I feel, it's been a while since I've filmed and I also, <laughs> got over food poisoning recent, very recently. And so I just feel out of sorts. Like do you ever, it just takes a while to get back when, you, when you're when you getting over a stomach virus or anything like that. And that is how I'm feeling like multiple days after. And I'm like, how do I still feel crazy? But thank goodness, like it's not contagious. So I was really worried as it's happening. I'm like, please don't let this get to anyone else. And the good news is I think the culprit was something from a restaurant and no one else ate it. Cause again, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's nothing worse as a parent than when you're sick and you're like, oh no, all my kids are gonna get sick. My husband, we're gonna be like, this is gonna be our next week and a half. <laughs> so I'm thankful that it was just me and all is well, but yeah, just feeling out of sorts. So if I seem out of sorts, that's why. <laughs> so it definitely like kind of blended in quickly I feel like blending in is not the word for it, but like it's sunk in quickly. It feels filled in. This is hard to tell until we put something on top, whether it's like actually working or not. So it felt nice to apply. We shall see. This is the thing that when I saw this launched, I was like, order right away. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. So this is one of those kind of serum-y type products. It has vitamin C in it, it says. It did say, I was looking this up online as well, that the highest coverage level is medium. So you can build it up to that point. You can apply it with your fingers or a sponge. We're gonna do kind of a mix of both. This might be, yeah, this is definitely too dark for me, but I was kind of trying to err on the side of darker rather than lighter, just because I feel like I always go too light in skin tints and then I, I don't know. Oh, that might actually be kind of perfect. Yeah, I just feel like it's kind of, it might not be too bad, especially I have self tanner that's like mostly worn off at this point, but if I had self tanner on, this would at least be closer to that shade. So it's kind of in between, I guess. Um, let's just, let's just try it. <laughs> Got a hair that's dipping right into it. What are the odds? Okay, so without and with, it's literally about to storm, so it's getting very dark in here. Sorry, y'all, we're stuck with natural lighting. I feel like, I mean, you know, it's kind of lightish coverage, but it did cover some. So let's put another layer on just to kind of compare. I'm really just applying it from the side of the 
This does not have the kind of packaging that's like, it's got the stopper, but it's not one of those packages where it's also like, not vacuum, but you know how like some of them are just so tight. So when you're putting it in there, this is open. So like if I knocked this over, it would absolutely just spill everywhere. Does that make sense? In the weirdest way, I kind of like this because if you really think about it, this is just a normal foundation bottle. They're just using, instead of just a lid, they're using a dropper. You know what I mean? So anyway, I like being able to get more out, I guess is my point. I, I kind of think it looks nice. <laughs> what was the last skin tint? I think it was Maybelline, but it was like their green line or was that CoverGirl? What was that? I think it was Maybelline. It was like their green edition skin tint type product serum foundation, whatever, and I did not like that stuff. That much I know for sure. I'm just using my pink sponge from Amazon. Oh, I've missed you guys. Uh, you probably can't even tell I've been away, but like, anyway, I just feel like sometimes when you're sick, like it really does make you appreciate when you are well. So I'm glad to be well, but I've just like missed filming. It always puts me in such a good mood and I'm thankful to have a job that puts me in a good mood. Most of the time, most of the time. No, I really am. So I'm, I'm digging this. If you're curious of my shade that I'm using, by the way, I'm spending a hundred years on this one product I know. Well, what shade is it? 120 is what I got. The one thing I kind of appreciate, like Maybelline, I feel like with their numbers, they're, I'm assuming they're meant to be like across the board. Like if I were 120 in the Fit Me line that I should in theory be 120 in this line. I feel like this might be a little bit deeper than their 120 in the Fit Me, but I don't know, that might be dead on. It might be just ever so slightly deeper, but I'm literally just using the side of this. I don't even need the <laughs> dropper. So yeah, I just feel like this looks healthy and pretty. And the thing that was interesting about the claims of this, and I will put wear notes down in the description box so that you can see like how this wore and my thoughts on it by the end of the night, etc. Oh, the claims on this is that it's supposed to be like sweat and humidity proof. And I'm like, what? For something this lightweight, I'll be very curious to see. But also, little shout out, I feel like this packaging with that like kind of holographic like label is really pretty. Hmm. So yeah, okay, what do you guys think? Just looking at it, it's not a perfect shade match. So beyond that, okay, okay, okay. So I obviously placed an e.l.f. order because there were a few new launches I was excited about. So this is their new, uh, putty color correcting eye brightener. This shade is a little too dark, although with this match, it might be perfect because uh, the shade lighter than this was sold out. So this is light medium. If I, I will probably, well, let me say this. If I like this, I will get the correct shade. I've already swatched this and I was like, hmm. So here's the thing. I'm gonna be a hard sell on a product like this because I love potted correctors like the Bobbi Brown one, the Charlotte Tilbury one, where they're just a little bit thicker than this, but they all tap them right there and they will brighten and cover and it stays all day like that. It doesn't look dry and crepey. It's like the right level of moisture, the right thickness. This feels a lot thinner. It just feels a lot thinner and a little more emollient, which you would think would be better and we'll see, but sometimes it just means you put it on in an hour later, it's just gone. You know what I mean? So we're gonna see. So I'm gonna try one side just with my finger. Honestly, this shade might not be terrible because it's really gonna help with the purples in the inner corner there. I remember back when I was still teaching fifth grade, I had multiple people. It was one of those like random makeup problems that I think more people have than is talked about. I had three separate teachers on separate occasions ask like, hey, do you have a recommendation? Cause they knew like that I did this YouTube thing. <laughs> Asked, do you have a recommendation for like something to cover up like this really purple area I have here, this really blue area. And for all of them, I recommended the Bobbi Brown and all of them bought it, loved it, and like swear by it now. There's something magical about that. Like even if you're a drugstore person watching this video and you're like, I usually don't splurge, there's something magical about the Bobbi Brown. I don't know what it is. And use your finger because it's magic. Okay, that's not looking bad. So without, you can really see, and with. I mean, that is not looking bad. All right, so let's try. This other side, maybe getting this color that's so close to my skin color is the move. Honestly, maybe I won't buy the lighter shade. Plus, I think it's still sold out. I'm like, dang, that sold out fast. I mean, I would love to find a cheaper dupe for that Bobbi Brown stuff, because I mean, obviously it's expensive. I would rather not continue to repurchase it at that price. I feel like that's looking pretty nice, right? Like it's covering enough. So you may ask, why am I not putting it down here? Honestly, I feel like this kind of a product doesn't lend itself well to being in that area. Like the second you hit fine lines, wrinkles, crow's feet, whatever, 
it, it's just so emollient, it's gonna be sinking into them repeatedly. So that's why I almost always just concentrate it on the inside. So I don't, I'm now realizing have a concealer concealer. So I'm gonna grab my favorite drugstore one, hold on. And no surprise, everyone say it with me, Catrice True Skin. You can get it on Amazon. It is the best concealer like ever. <laughs> And it's like nine bucks. You know, if I was gonna do the side bun, I might as well have just done two and made it real, a real whole cute statement. <laughs> so usually when I do put on a corrector, I pair it with a real concealer as well. And I'll tap like a little bit of the concealer on top of it just to kind of mesh it together with that corrector, but yeah. Okie dokie, cool. All right, for brow, please be a decent shade match because I feel like I have been struggling in the brow department to get the right match because my hair is still dark, but I don't like my brows to be so, so dark. I like it just summer, but I also don't want it warm toned. So it's a really weird thing to kind of nail. So this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel, 36 hour for all your brow styling needs. That's a long, it says life proof formula. Okay, wowzers. Every time I've seen this in store, I always thought it was like a lip product just because it had a red top. And I don't know, like, it's so funny that that red, I'm like, oh, it must be lipstick. That's all it could ever possibly be. All right. I'm a little nervous. So the spoolie's small, but it, I feel like it's a little bigger than like the tiny gimme brow type. Holy moly. <gasps> but boy, <laughs> if you if you want it to just get there right away, that will do it for you. Holy moly. All right, we're gonna kind of brush through it. I mean, that was really easy to use. I can't even, so I'm gonna wipe some of it off on this other half just to kind of see. I'm just gonna brush through it with my plain one. Man, this would have been the product for me though, back before I used a brow serum and these, my brows like grew in, like this would have been ideal because that was so fast and easy. There's something about, I mean, like I said, it's way darker than I typically go, but there's something about that formula that just, I mean, you saw how quick and easy that was. Like that was not, it took like two seconds. Okay, this is no joke. So I'm wiping some of it literally, cause it's, it really is just darker than I wanna be. And I'm like amazed because some of it wiped over like here and it was hard to get off. So I'm like, it really is kind of tattoo like, like if you need something to fill those puppies in and stay, this may be the one for you. Maybe I'll sh I'll try a lighter shade just so it's not so um, dark so fast for me and just my taste, but I am impressed with how that worked. So there you go. I picked this up kind of on a whim. This is the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals. I have not bought a NYX like palette in a moment. Wait, that's not totally true. No, what am I thinking of? Ulta brand. Yeah, I feel like it's been a minute since I've bought any eyeshadow from NYX. Um, I just, I mean, I liked the colors. You know I'm a neutral person <laughs> by nature. I've been liking kind of like mauve -y colors lately. So I think that's kind of the route I'm gonna go. Well, I'm saying mauve. This is not really gonna be like, actually there is no real true. Do you say mauve or mauve? It's like the age old question, the <laughs> chicken or the egg. Let me just start with this. Let me try one of these shimmers. It's kind of cool toned, taupey. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's definitely kind of a thinner formula. I'm trying to think back, like, have I ever had like a NYX palette or anything like that that I've just sworn by? And I really don't know that NYX has ever been my go-to for shadows. Um, I'm sure back in the day, I'm gonna try, I don't know, this shade here just to kind of start the crease. Oh, well that's got some serious pigment to it. Anyway, I, I'm sure back in the day, I liked like single shadows from NYX. Like there's, now I can't even picture that. Now I wanna look up. There are some Instagram accounts, by the way, that are like retro makeup accounts. And a lot of them are like, we're talking like 1940s ads for makeup that that's like what they post, which is just fun to see something different in my feed, but um, there are also ones that'll talk about like stuff from the 90s and stuff, and I just love seeing that, even the you know early 2000s. So, okay, I have to say, I don't think this is gonna be one of those, like the formula is nothing special, but I don't think it's bad. Like this looks nice, but I like the kind of purpley, it did end up looking mauve, which is what I wanted. Go figure, I mean, you guys know most days I go eyeshadowless. I'll usually, honestly, <laughs> take a color like that or that, or any of those, and just put it all over just to kind of like clear the area before putting liner mascara. So actually I wanna see, Cause yeah, that will probably be my new go-to for just covering the entire eye area on days I'm not wearing shadow. I'm gonna just kind of do it on my brow bone. Just cause I feel like it brightens it, it like sets, like I'll usually have concealer on that area and I love using an eyeshadow or, or powder foundation cause it'll kind of set the area. Anyway, I don't think this is anything special. The shimmers are very lightly shimmery, 
but I do think it blended really easily. And if you were just kind of wanting a simple neutral palette, maybe I'll keep messing with it. I'll try some more of the colors, but I also liked how small this was. I really feel like there's been a movement for like palettes that still have options, but are just literally smaller. And I like, I mean, this is like size of my palm and there are 16 shadows in there. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna do my liner real fast and I'll BRB. Okie dokie. So I threw on um, the Sephora 12 hour waterproof liner. You know, it's my favorite liner of all time. I've got a little baby nub. I already have my next one ready to go. And then the Danessa Myricks liquid liner. So the new mascara we're gonna try is from CoverGirl. It's their Clean Topia plant powered clean mascara. I got it in brown. Just cause I don't know, I feel like it's been a while since I've tried a brown mascara. I use brown liner all the time, although the liquid one is black, so. But um, figured it was just worth a shot. I My assumption with this is that it will be um, kind of more low key natural, but then I'm looking at this and it says extreme lush volume. So I guess we're gonna see. But it does say it has aloe leaf extract, ceramides, clean vegan mascara, Infused with cellulose plant fibers, maracuja oil, wow. Okay, so we're just gonna see. The packaging is cute. I know they've done another, haven't they done another mascara in the same color, but it wasn't the same product or the same packaging. This is cute. I like brushes like this, the natural bristle, kind of hourglass shaped. Who wish me luck. Oh, I poked myself in the eye. Just pull my mirror up with me here. Okay, so, so far pretty natural look. I certainly have other um, mascaras that give give more. I mean, that's very natural look. By the way, if you've been watching them for a while and you've never, I have, that is like a birthmark there on my eye. I actually don't get asked about it as much as I used to. So maybe, I don't know, maybe people just know, but um, I do have it looked at like in depth with tests with my eye doctor every year. Thank you for the concern. <laughs> um, just because, I mean, obviously that's something that you want to keep an eye on. Um, cause you never know, but it is just a birthmark. I was born with it. I've always had it. It's always looked the same. Anyway, all right. So even when I kind of, you know, do the wiggle at the root, it's still pretty natural, but it looks nice. Like this is even more natural looking than the uh, Elf Lash and Roll, which is a dupe for the Roller Lash from Benefit, uh, which I like. That one is natural, but it gives a little more than this does. We're gonna do a second coat though. Uh, just to kind of see but I mean think about it. if you're doing one of those looks that's real low-key and you just you want something on your lashes because maybe you just need something but you almost don't want it to look like you're wearing mascara this might be the one especially in brown because obviously it's still dark you can't see whether it's brown or black but it just gives it that look that's just even more low-key okay the one thing I'm noticing is every time I pull this out there's a big old whopper of a mascara boogie on the, <laughs> on the end all right, let's see if a second coat does anything for us. I mean, I just think it's it's just one of those mascaras that's just low key. But if it were important for you to get like something clean or vegan, whatever, you know, whatever clean means to you, cause obviously we're not getting into that whole debate, but um, you know, I think it's an option, but it definitely is just, how many times can I say it? Very natural looking, low key. <laughs> I'm self aware. All right. Oh my gosh, all right. There are a few decisions we're gonna have to make here. So, oh, before we go too far though, I do want to try that color I used in the crease on the lower lash line. I don't always put anything on the lower lash line, but sometimes it's nice. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like with a little bit of color, it can look nice just to kind of even it out. Plus as I always say, doing something like that kind of hides some of those fine lines right there. Um, anyway, yeah. I feel like I haven't seen myself with eyeshadow on the bottom in a while almost looks like foreign to me. <laughs> All right, we have some decisions to make. I think I've already made one. So for bronzer, I have two different ones. I have the ColourPop Bronze Stick. So I have their bronze, blush, and highlight. So we're gonna be trying some of these. This is the bronzer, right? It, it was confusing, the color of the packaging. But there it is. Maybe I'll do it on one half of my face because the other, well, contour we're gonna try is the Essence Baby Got Bronze. I'm calling it a contour because that color is straight up gray. So it's way, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 my stage makeup teacher would have loved this product. All right, I just wanna try it. Honestly, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Why don't we try this as my like low key contour? And then maybe we'll do a little bronze on top. Also, this smells like Bonnebelle Lip Smacker Chapstick. Full on, full stop. Oh my gosh, like uh, 
watermelon, kiwi. What is that I'm smelling? Melon. All right, so I'm gonna use one of my favorite things for cream bronzer, the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm just gonna kind of get some on it because I feel like this could get crazy. Yeah, we're just gonna keep that right back there. I remember my uh, stage makeup teacher always telling us like you literally, what did she teach us? We had like Ben Nye, you know, so the contour was I'm telling you this color. And what did she say? I think we like would get it on our thumb and just like the side of your thumb and that was the amount, not the side of your whole thumb, but like the side of the upper part. And you just put that amount from your ear to there and that's it. And then you blend it. So it really would be um, really concentrated towards the back because all you're trying to do, especially like on stage, is to give yourself the appearance of a cheekbone. Not that you don't already have one, but okay. I feel like you could be low key with this and it could look cool. You know what I mean? Gosh, this is giving me vibes of like back in the day, man. Holy moly. Remember the NYX contour powder? I'm sure it's still around and it was just straight up gray or maybe it was like the NYX blush in grayish or I don't know. I feel like it had some like kind of funny name. I might be confusing that with the NYX lip gloss I used to love in the shade beige, whoa. Uh, but it was pink, <laughs> very confusing naming. So I feel like this lighting, it's really hard to get it like even, you know what I mean? But I think it could look pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna put any of this up there even though you totally can. I wanna try this in another shade because formula wise, I feel like this is easy to blend on. It definitely, I mean, geez can be something. So if you've tried this and you have a shade you like, let me know. But um, this was the shade, by the way, Moon Dust. All right, so we're gonna try the ColourPop Bronze Sticks. So I don't know if these, were these sent to me in PR? I think they were. I know that back in the day, I had blush and highlight sticks from them. So this is not a new product in theory. I think some of the shades might be new, but I just wanted to try because this bronzer shade is like a perfect bronzer color for me. So I just, I needed to try it. Let me try a different brush. Okay, let me try it on the side where the lighting's a little bit better because I think feel like that contour's looking a little weird and I can't tell if it's just the mood lighting or like a shadow from my hand. Although, where, why would there be a shadow? Okay. <laughs> you guys are getting post-sickness Jessie. Sorry, she's crazy. <laughs> okay, I think it's nice. Let's try it on the upper area of the face. I just do whatever I want. <laughs> I feel like this is blending in pretty easily. This is like, okay, the Makeup by Mario bronze sticks, I don't love because I feel like they're hard to blend in. They're okay. I retried them in, in a video and it was easier, but like this is really easy to blend in. Um, you could absolutely do it this way too if you wanted. I feel like that might be even easier, but it's not too emollient. Like it's just kind of the right amount of everything. Hmm. Mm. So if you were curious, this is Laguna Beach. If you have fairer skin, I think you might like the tone of this and the shade. Um, but I'll keep messing with it because I don't think, I mean, this is not up there so far with, sorry, my nose is so itchy, you guys, but it's the outside of my nose. Like, what does that mean? Somebody tell me, someone diagnose me, please don't. <laughs> I don't think this is like up there with, you know, my NARS cream bronzer. That's my ultimate favorite right now, but it, it was really nice. I'm gonna keep messing with it. I'll let you know. So we're gonna keep going on the ColourPop train. We're gonna try their blush stick in the shade. This is something I used to like. There was a, a shade of it like, I wanna say Aloha or something that I used to love. Boy, we are getting through this video and fits and starts. Sweet Gigi just keeps having to show me everything that's going on in her room and it's really sweet. It's crazy though that she's at an age where I can say, honey, you know, mommy's gonna film and she can be independent enough that is wild and very exciting anyway. And then we've got Felicity who's nowhere near. <laughs> Nowhere near independent. Okay, so the highlight, wait, I didn't even do the blush. See, this is what's happening. Yeah, I don't know what shade this is. This is so bizarre. It says 25 slash eight. I'm like, is that the color? So anyway, um, but it looks really pretty. Formula wise, it looks okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna kind of see. Do you have a favorite brush for cream blush? Not cream bronzer, cream blush. Cause I do feel like it needs to be something a little smaller. I'm still on the hunt. Um, Cause I like applying it with the brush. I, this has been good and this is newer to me. This is the e.l.f. domed stipple. So this has been one that's worked pretty well. I'm gonna kind of draw this on a little bit and then blend it in. See how that looks pretty actually. 
We'll do the same over here. I feel like the tone of this is really nice. It's like summery, kind of papaya-y, but not so in your face. Like some of them, especially if you have fairer skin, like those red blushes are so pretty, but they, for me, they just take a lot of work to blend in and I'm like, oh, I don't have that kind of time. But it can look gorgeous if you take the time. But anyway, I feel like this is giving that vibe slightly, but with half the work, you know what I mean? I've also been trying to do my blush a little higher the past like year or two, just cause I feel like it can look really cute and youthful. Okay, what? This is looking really nice and this brush did a really good job. So, I feel like it looks really nice and even. Okay, okay. Ooh. All right, so the highlighter, this is in, see this one has the shade name. That's so weird that that one didn't. Uh, this is in the shade Glazy. Now I know I used to like one of their highlighter sticks. This one's pretty like. So I'm trying to be like careful about where I place it because it's kind of icy, hence the name Glazy. But I feel like it's catching the light nicely. Ooh, yeah. I always appreciate, since highlighter is a step I've been skipping a lot lately, I always appreciate when it's a highlighter that I can just put on with my fingers. I don't need to blend it with a sponge. I don't need to blend it with a brush or anything. I can just kind of do it and be done. Um, I feel like that looks nice. That looks really nice. So let me grab a powder because I just feel like there's some areas I need a little something something. And then I have a couple of lip options, so we might try a few things. <laughs> I'm just throwing on the Ami Cole. This is my new favorite loose powder. I don't even really like loose powder, but there's something about this. And I'm just gonna use this to set the under eye a bit. I just feel like it just smooths things out so nicely. I'll just kind of tap it. And then I think I might put a little bit just in the center. Okay, much better. Just feel like that pulls it together just a little bit more where I can still be glowy on the outside. Glowy on the outside, <laughs> matte on the inside. <laughs> what is the deeper meaning? I don't know. I want to retry these. So I already opened one. These are the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stains, and I'm now realizing I have two of the same shade. Basic beige. How did this happen? I know one I think was a free gift. I didn't see where I could pick the color, so I was like, well, I want basic beige, and then I'll get the free one, and we'll just see what color it is. Turns out. <laughs> um, anyway, because so many of you guys still love this, and the one shade I tried was like, disappeared like right away like there was no color so I think it was more of a shade by shade thing so I'm realizing maybe I shouldn't start this first because it's a stain what is this that I bought the L'Oreal infallible and major crush so this is the other product here oh, I just want to try that isn't that pretty I love these kinds of products let me look this one up though I'm trying to remember if the claims for this were like super long wearing or not yeah, so this is their matte resistance liquid lipstick. Lip color infused with hyaluronic acid for up to 16 hour wear. Okay, so this is gonna be real tricky because I don't wanna do the, the e.l.f. lip stain and then have that stain and then put this on. So I think I'm just gonna do the L'Oreal one, but I'm excited to try the lip stain. You can see I literally just wiped it off. It really is stained. Um, but this is, I think, a new release as far as I remember. And I just, I'm excited. I like the idea of a liquid lipstick that obviously is gonna wear a long time, that's nothing new, but that is maybe a little more hydrating. It feels a little more hydrating as I'm like putting this on. Also, it smells like vanilla. Mm, this color too. No, it's not even vanilla. It smells like, it does smell like baked goods, but like in a really nice way. Like stuff you'd make in your Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> I am loving this. Like y'all know my lips are always lined. I feel like this looks, like they look, Smooth, a little, just a little bit smoother than normal. I feel like this color, what did I pick out here? Oh, duh, Major Crush is nice. Like I, this, oh, I was gonna say, I like this color for any time, but I feel like this is gonna be nice like in the fall and winter too. But even saying that, like, I think this is a nice, cause it's still pinky, nice spring summer shade. Oh my gosh, okay. This is exciting. So, doesn't feel super sticky. It's certainly not as sticky as, you guys know I love the vinyl, uh, What what is that brand? Maybelline Vinyl lip like liquid lips if you will and those are similar in that they're like kind of hydrating they last forever too but they aren't so dry so i always reach for those like for special events but those definitely have a little more of that sticky feeling where it like pulls your lips together a little bit as you're trying to pull them apart this one has a little bit of that but i don't think it's as bad but it's a very similar feeling in that it's like moisturizing this is so crazy okay oh my gosh guys this might be something worth like go on out or place an order because i I'm, i don't know why i'm so flabbergasted by this but i just feel like it's been a while since i've tried I'm getting emotional i'm kidding <laughs> 
<laughs> it's been a while since I've tried a liquid lip that I felt strongly about since the vinyl one. Is, is it the vinyl? Anyway. Mmm. And it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Which, thank goodness. Oh, it smells like a candy necklace. That's what it smells like. Like kind of sweet like a baked good. Oh my gosh, I am into that. Thank goodness, because you the normal old L'Oreal smell, like their lipsticks, I literally makes me sick. I just can't use those products. So I'm really glad they're doing something different smell-wise. Yay, oh my gosh, so exciting. All right, so let me take a moment. I wanna share like my top few picks with you guys. First up, I mean, it obviously this lip product, I am just a fan of. I'm so excited. Like I said, I'll put in a weird note how it wore. I'll try to keep this on. <laughs> I, Felicity will wake up from a nap and it's, I'm gonna wanna kiss her. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, oh my gosh. There's not much transfer. It's literally just the center of my lip, you know? Which, why am I kissing my hand like that? <laughs> anyway. Ah, so this one, like I would tell you right now, run out and get a shade for yourself. You won't regret it. Also, the packaging is kind of nice. It's got like this like, I don't know. There's something about it that looks high end. Okay. Easy second place, close to first. This is looking so pretty. Like I was just looking in the mirror at my skin up close, trying to see like, okay, how do I feel like it's looking? I feel like it's it paired really well with this poreless putty primer. This, I, I just feel like I have to try for longer. It's so hard to tell right now and like tell you, yes, go get it. But I do feel like my pores look smaller than they normally do, especially on my nose. So. I'm gonna keep using it, but this, I really, really am liking the way it looks. I just, I'm so surprised that it had the coverage it did, but it still looks like skin. Like, I feel like it looks nice. So, very excited. And then, kind of a tie for third place here, the blush stick. I felt like that was so easy to apply and it looks so even and pretty. Tied with the e.l.f. color corrector. I really thought this would be kind of, kind of crappy, honestly. I genuinely, <laughs> the second I swatched it, I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna like it. But I'm so surprised at how well I feel like it stayed. And we'll see, I'm gonna keep messing with it. It's different than the Bobbi Brown, but it it's similar, right? Like the look of it is in the end, very similar. So those are my top picks. Obviously, you know, some of them I felt like it's fine. The NYX one, the Clean Topia Mascara, the e.l.f. contour -y product I wanna keep, but like I said, I might get another shade in. And the brow product I think is really good if that's what you're looking for. I do want to see if there'd be another shade that maybe I might try to see in person so I can look at it. But yeah, all in all, I feel like this was a pretty darn good grouping of products. Like I'm so excited by some of the new launches that are out. Uh, I laughed because I forgot about this when I was sitting down. I'm like, oh, I better go grab the one foundation you guys have been dying for me to try and I tease you every single week. <laughs> I still I've literally talked about this for months. I'm like, yeah, oh, I was gonna try it in this video and here we are again. <laughs> One of these days I'll try you. I might just have to try it on my own, y'all, and just let you know, but I, I was trying to save it for a video, so <laughs> we'll see. Now it's just like an ongoing joke. I feel like it'd be weird if I did try it. And I didn't even tell you what it is. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Tinted Balm Foundation. Okay, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like drugstore videos, I have dupes videos. I do honestly, like every other month. So I have an entire playlist of them. If you want to catch some of them, I can link that below. I do trying new makeup videos like this all of the time, every single month, sometimes twice a month. So I hope you'll subscribe and stick around for those. Um, and if you've never tried my vlogs, I always try to plug those from time to time because my vlogs have makeup weaved into them all throughout. So if you are like, I don't know, and you are thinking about dipping your toe in the vlog water just to see, <laughs> the vlog water sounds so gross. <laughs> It's worth a shot. I mean, I think you might like it. Of course I'm biased because it's my own content, but um, I weave makeup throughout it all of the time. So definitely worth checking out. I can link my latest vlog. I'll link the vlog where I did a huge makeup haul in it down below because that might be the one that might interest you the most, you know, because it's literally 50% of the video. <laughs> so, all right, anyway, I will shut up. I love you guys. Thank you for dealing with me and all my weirdness today. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.